Hi students, welcome to our science class. Today we are going to start new chapter and its name is Force, Work and Energy. You can see this chapter on page number 98. This is the fourth chapter. You can see the third chapter is the and the name is Essential Essential for life, air and water. This chapter is the, we will discuss it after discussing this chapter, force, work and energy. This is one simple chapter. So, basically in this chapter we are discussing about the force, work and energy itself. a beaker and also one ball. And now I am going to put this ball into this. That means I am giving I am putting this ball on this. That means what I am giving on this ball? What is that? I am giving a force. I am giving a force on this. I am giving a force on this. So, next I am just taking this beaker and shaking this. When I am shaking this beaker, you can see that this ball is moving from one place to another. Here also, actually what I am doing, I am giving some sort of force on this beaker. So, we can say, our first topic is this force itself. This is one simple example that we can see the force is acting. Now, in your textbook you can see one activity. We can start our chapter by doing that activity. The activity is very simple. You want to do it in your textbook. The activity is this. You can see some sort of pictures are there. And you want to tick which are the things having force or which of the cases are acting force. That is the thing you want to tick. The first thing is this. One person is standing and in his hand a rope is there and he is pulling this rope. He is pulling. That means in his hand a rope is there and he is pulling this rope. So that is the first thing. The second thing is a tree is the and one upper is falling from this tree towards the ground. That is the second picture. And the third picture is this one box is the and inside that box some of the things are filled. That means this box is not at all moving. It's just placed there. That is the third picture. The fourth picture is this one. Chair is the And a person standing and push this. That means push. One person pushing this towards this side. That is the fourth picture. And the fifth picture is this about one windmill. And what's the peculiarity of this windmill? It is getting rotate. So, these are the five pictures you can see. Your work is this. You want to tick bits of the things having the force acting. That's the work. Just pause the video and complete your work. I hope you completed your work. And now we want to check which are the cases that acts force. This is the first case. I already said that one person is Pulling the rope. That means here this person is giving a force on the rope and so we can give tick for the first one. 
The second one is this. The apple is coming downwards to the earth. This is the earth. And so, actually any type of force is acting on this apple. There is acting a particular force and that force is given by our earth. And that is the gravitational force. We can study in detail in the coming classes. Now just understand that here also on this apple they have a particular type of force and because of that force this apple is coming. Otherwise what happens? That apple will go somewhere. Down it will come downward. So we can say on this apple there also acts some sort of force and so we can give the tick mark for the second picture also. And now what about the third one? It is having no motion or having no shape change or nothing. It is just placed somewhere on a surface. So we cannot give tick mark for this. And the fourth one. It's having a chair and a person is pushing this. Pushing. What is this pushing means? Here also this person is giving a particular force on this chair. So we can give the tick mark for that. And the last one. The wind wheel. What is the peculiarity of windmill? It is getting rotated when force is acting. That means this is the wheel of the windmill. And at rest there is having no motion on this. And when the wind blows what happens? Here now I am just giving force by my hand. And if the wind blows, what happens? This wheel started to rotate. This wheel started to rotate. So the same thing happens here. And so there also the force acts. So this wind will, the force is acting by or the force gets by the wind. So the tick mark is for this, this, this and this. We are not giving tick. These all are the introduction for the force. Now we can move to the next thing regarding this. Within this all activities, sometimes we are giving a push. Sometimes we are giving a push or sometimes we are giving a pull on a substance. That means this is a paper. I am pushing. That means I am giving a force on this. Or I am pulling. That means also I am giving a force. So the thing is this to move. This is a ball. And I want to move this. This ball can either move to this side or this side. That means I want to either give a push or pull on this ball. And because of that it will move. So that's the thing. And another example. A board and a bat. And here also we are giving a certain type of force. Is it a push or pull? We are giving push. So we are giving a push on the board using the bat. So there also force acting with the help of push. And the another case for the cycle. How the cycle is moving forward? We are giving a force. And it is either a push or pull. That means we are pushing the pedal. We are pushing the pedal. And because of that pushing, this cycle is moving forward. So we can say in all the cases. Another example. How we are opening the door. Suppose this is the door and how we can open this by pushing or pulling. We are giving some sort of force on this door and we can open this and close this. On the case of the door also we want to give a force on this. Either push or pull. Push or pull. Both of the things we can see in the case of the door. So in all the cases we can see a Push or pull and so now I am going to define the term force. I am going to define the term force. How we can define force? Very simple.
bombé. A push or pull on an object is called force. So we can say a push or pull on an object is called force. This is the simple definition for the force and the detailed definition you will study in your upcoming higher classes. So now you just want to study the definition as a pull or push on an object is called force. I think it's clear for you. Now we are going to discuss some of the more examples regarding the acting force on certain substances. How the bullock cart is moving? The, the force is acting by the bullock on the cart. Suppose this is the bullock and this is the cart. How it's moving? This Giving a force on this card. That means it is pulling. Pulling the card. Here also we can see it's pulling. I am not saying in all the cases both pulling and pushing occurs. Either pulling or pushing. Or in some cases you can see both of the pulling and pushing. Another example. How we are taking water from well. We are taking water from the well by, what is this? We are pulling. And what's the name of this? The name of that is pulley. Pulley. And so we are pulling this rope and we are just giving some sort of force on this rope and because of that, this bucket is moving upward. So, the force we are giving, we are pulling. We are pulling the rope. We are pulling. So, here also we can see it's pulling. The another case about the wheelchair, when some of the person is pulling. Mm, sorry, pushing. What happens? That will move forward. We already mentioned about this. When a person stands here and push, what happens? This wheelchair will move forward. And when the person pull this, what happens? The wheelchair will move backward. In all the cases you can see either a pull or push and that's why we are explaining the definition as the pull or push on an object is called what? Force. Now you can see here some sort of block is there and I am just moving this block from one hand to another. Here also you can see the action of Force. If I am not giving any type of force, what happens? It always stands in my hand itself. Not it come to another hand. So here also on the block, I am exerting some sort of force on this and that's how it's moving from one place to another. These all examples are there. But on each case, the force acting is different. Each type of force have its own name and we want to study that in the coming classes. Now just remember this example. That's all. Here you can see this is one simple pendulum and when I am not giving any type of force it is having no motion. It is just at rest and when I am giving a force what happens it start to oscillate. It is moving from one place to another because of the force I am just giving. When I am not giving any type of force what happens no motion will occur there. So that's the another example. So this is all about the examples for the acting force on some type of objects. In all these examples you can see a motion. That means the position change occurs for the object. 
Now my question is this. Due to the force always have the motion. Always have the position change for the object. What do you think? Is it possible? For example, I am just going to push this wall. I am just going to push this wall. I am giving force on this. And have any position change for this wall? Do this wall is moving from this point to another? No. But when I am continuously giving force on this wall, what happens? I am going to get tired because I am continuously giving force on this wall. So, here we can say in some cases no motion occurs for the force. Force, it's not mentioned that always you will get a particular type of motion. In some cases we get the motion and in some cases there is no motion occurs. But still on the wall I am giving that word. It's also force. It is also a type of force. But here no motion occurs. So you just want to remember force always do not move an object. Force always do not move an object. In some cases it is still the at rest. Rest means having no motion. So this is all about this. And now we are going to discuss what is the effect of the force. That means when I am giving force on a particular object, what happens to that object? That is the question. So the heading is this. Effect of force. Effect of force. This is our next topic. We already said that when we are giving force, some objects get motion. So we can simply say motion is one type of effect. Now the question is this. Only the motion will occur for an object when we are giving force? That we have to think. That's the topic here we are going to discuss. The effect of force on a particular object. The first point is this. One ball. This ball is in motion. This ball is continuously rotating or moving through the surface. Now, I want to stop this. I want to stop this ball. How I can stop? I can stop this ball by giving a Force. That means I just want to hold this ball. I want to hold means what? I want to give a force. So we can say to stop the object. To stop the moving object we want to give a force. So we can say a force can stop a moving object. A force can stop a moving object. This is what? One effect of force. That means this ball is already in motion. And I want to stop this. And how I can stop? I want to hold this. Hold this means I am giving a force on this ball. And so we can say a force can stop a moving object. That is the first effect. Now the thing is this. This ball is moving very fast. This ball is moving very fast. I want to slow down this motion for this ball. And what I have to do? Here also, I want to give a force on this ball. So, I can say, the force can slow down the motion. The force can, force can slow down. The force can slow down the motion. That means this ball at very fast at initial stage and when I am giving a force to what? To slow down. When I am giving a force, what happens then? Its speed reduces. That means it moves very slow. And also one thing is that this ball is moving very slow. When I am again giving a force on this, what happens? The, the speed gets increased. So we can say the force can slow down or increase speed of the motion. So, the first point is this. A force can stop a moving object. Within that we can say force can slow down the motion.
motion or also it can increase the speed of the object. This is all about this first point. I think it's clear. Now we are going to discuss the next point about the effect of force. That is the thing we already mentioned. That means move an object. This is the second point. Move an object. Here you can see one very is there. And at first it is there at rest. And how I can move this? I want to push this. When I am giving force on this, what happens? It moves from one place to another. If I am not giving any type of force, what happens? There is no motion occurs. So, we can say for moving an object, we want to apply a force on this. When I am giving a force, that will move from one place to another. So, that is the second point. To move an object, we want to give a force. So, this is also one effect of the force. One simple effect. And the next is this. Within that you can see that when a ball is at rest, when we are giving force, what happens? That start to move. These all things are there. You just want to read the textbook. Now we are going to discuss the third point or the third effect. That is 3. Change direction of motion. One ball is there. This ball is moving in this direction. It is moving from this point to this point, continuously moving. Now, I am going to give a force on this side. Now, what happens? Do this still ball move in this direction? No. That will change the direction of the motion. That means this ball will move somewhere else for another direction. So, we can say, we can only change the direction of motion by applying a particular type of force. So, we can say, the third effect of the force is, we can change the direction of motion. At first, it was the in a particular direction. When we are applying a force in another direction, what happens? The direction of motion will change its direction. So, that's the third point. And also in your textbook, you can see another example that how we are changing the direction or the mm, same direction of the vehicle. We can see some sort of steering in the vehicle. And what is this steering doing? That means, suppose this is steering. That means we are giving some sort of force on this. And so, because of this rotation of this steering, the tires are getting changed its direction. And so, here also the same action of force, the effect of force takes place. So, that is the third effect. And finally, one more effect is the very simple effect that change shape and size of object. The fourth one, change Shape and size of object. So for example, here you can see a particular shape thing. When I am giving a force, what happens? Its shape is getting distorted. So why this happen? When I am giving a force on this, what happens? Its shape changed. At initial stage, it was the in a particular shape. And when I am applying a force, what happens? Its shape is getting different. So, here we can say this is also an effect of force. That means, when we are giving a force on a particular object, in some cases, its shape or size. Here, both the shape and the size is getting different. So, we can say this is the another effect of force. And more examples for these are... When we are pressing a balloon, what happens within this? Air is filled. And when we are pressing, what happens? It also gets shape and size change. And the another example is this. We are making chapati, no? When we are making chapati and for the dough, 
what happens when we are pressing its shape is getting changed we can say its shape and size getting different because of the applying force so here mainly we can say four effects are there one we can stop one moving object second we can move a, an object which is there already in rest and third we can change the shape and size of object and also we can change the direction of moving object these are the effects of force today simply we just discussed about what is force what are the different things that occurs the force and also we discussed about the effects of force now just take your textbook you can see in the page number 99 one green box is the multiple choice questions this is one homework for you you just want to do this question 1 and 2 this is all about today's class we will meet in the next class with the type so force this is all about today's class you just want to read your textbook and we will meet in the next